The Utah Boys Ranch Network is a nonprofit organization dedicated to ending all forms of abuse in teen treatment facilities. Currently, our focus has been on the Utah Boys Ranch, also known as Westridge Academy, located in West Jordan, Utah. Our website, mormongulag.com, reveals numerous accounts of abuse submitted by alumni as well as staff. Over the past six months, there has been controversy surrounding Westridge Academy's Wikipedia page. We feel that in an effort to discredit our organization, a Westridge Academy staff member, operating under the pseudonym Westridge Authorized, has made personal attacks in the discussion section of the page. Among them are our, quote, refusal to make public our federally protected adolescent psychiatric records. Not only was there never a refusal on our part, as Westridge Authorized claims, a request had never even been made. They've even called into question whether we had ever attended their facility. On June 7, 2009, Westridge Authorized made the following post on Wikipedia's discussion forum. Quote, Eric Norwood likewise refuses to allow his file from Westridge Academy to be made public so that the public can see what his reasons were for attendance, whether he completed the program successfully or not, and whether or not there are abuses received by or handed out by Mr. Norwood during his stay at Westridge. On June 9, 2009, Eric Norwood, Chris Wade, and Danny Livingston went to Westridge Academy to request their medical records in order to refute their claims. Westridge Academy has essentially been calling us out on uh, Wikipedia claiming we won't release our uh, medical records and our treatment records from the time while we were at the Utah Boys Ranch. So in order to make sure that uh, we're completely open about everything that we're doing and who we are, we're going to go to Westridge Academy today and request those records. After we receive them, we'll make sure they're published uh, online and public for anyone to see. So we're hoping that they will basically oblige us and give us the records. Um, we've also uh, signed request forms to, to get those, um, but we will see how they uh, respond. Officially, our records. All we patient. couldn't figure out how to do it. Yeah. So we thought we'd just walk in the world. Do you want all of their no. Just what you think. Yeah. Maybe like or I would say like maybe a school um, records. Not school records, therapy. Every therapy so often records. Often or medical records. Gives me, gives me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then now we're. And then if you want more, we can bring them over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 2003? We were there in 2002. 2002 to 03. Less than a decade, and a decade is what you're required to have by, by federal law. Sorry, it's crazy. Oh. Let's see. This is what I heard. Yeah. John, do yeah. you guys want their records? The clinical records? Um, when they went here? How do we go about that? Uh, we'll have them come, go in and talk to Ken. Okay. Sounds good. Good. So, I'll just have a seat and. Okay, yeah, we can wait for one. Of course. So why do we need to talk to the executive director in order to obtain our psychiatric records? Shouldn't we talk to the clinical director? Wait. Is that? Gentlemen. Hey, right. are, 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 are you Mr. Allen? I am. Right. Come on in. So we just left Westridge Academy, empty-handed. Obviously, we don't have our don't records. Have our records. They did not provide them to us, and they said that they would have to see if they legally had to provide them to us talk with their attorneys them. before they would provide us with records so so we made an attempt uh we're trying to get them so we can make them public uh, we're going to continue to do so um hopefully they will cooperate a little bit more next time so we can uh, we can put these on our website less than 20 minutes after we left the academy's campus 
the poster Westridge authorized was back at it on Wikipedia, claiming, as a matter of interest, the authors of the controversial articles were found, uninvited, on Westridge Academy's site today, with cameras and video cameras taking photos and video. These are not authorized by Westridge, but should be interesting. When approached, they indicated their displeasure with Westridge's interference with their wiki article. To begin with, we were not found on campus. We walked from the gate directly to the administrative office. Second, Westridge Academy wanted our files public, which required us to visit the facility to deliver our request. This was our invitation. Third, our purpose was to get our medical records, not to take pictures. All images and audio were used to document our attempt and to ensure that the truth was preserved. It's especially apparent after Westridge authorized post why this was necessary. And finally, as you saw, we were not approached, but actually approached the staff ourselves. If Westridge Academy is willing to lie about something as mundane as this, what else will they try to cover up? To learn more and to read actual accounts of abuse, visit our website at mormongulag.com. The Utah Boys Ranch Network will not stop fighting for the rights of youth in treatment facilities, nor will we be intimidated by false allegations. Together, we can stop the abuse.